I come before you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do. Lord, I come before you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do. Sabbath and good evening to all. Indeed, we are so happy to be here with you to experience the goodness of God and also 
to celebrate what God has done for us. And this evening, we continue to praise Him because He's worthy to be praised. And we welcome all our viewing audience with us, all those out there on the web who have joined us. We extend appreciation to you. And we also ask that as you would have joined, that you also call somebody, let them know that you Life Unplugged is on, and we would have a wonderful time in Jesus' name. And so before we go any further, we ask you to bow your heads with us as we pray. <laughs> Loving Father and God, we ask even now that your Holy Spirit would be with us. Empower us to do your will, your bidding, and fulfill that task that you have set before us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Alright, so as usual, we have our praise and worship time which is now so the opportunity is given to you to share your songs and once we know it then we'll be able to sing it for you if we don't then we may just be able to hum it for you or we'll just seek it as a musical selection we would sing the first stanza and the chorus if time permits we may even add the last stanza added with the chorus and we have so many persons have already said this is what i want you to say and so we have is it rosalyn rosalyn is saying number 15 my maker and my king good start so we're going to start right there hymn number 15 my maker and my king <laughs> Trust that that would be your favorite song. <laughs> All right. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Seeking the Lost. Right. It's quite a powerful song there, Pastor. Seeking the Lost, yes, kindly entreating, wanderers on the mountain astray. Come unto me, his message repeating, words of the Master speaking today. Wanderer 
Exceeds our sin and our guilt yonder on Calvary's mount or pole, there where the blood of the Lamb well was spilled or laid. Praise the Lord. and his grace so if you were not singing before at least now is the time to start to sing for Jesus Jesus Christ. So when we meet and when we part, it must be the salutation exactly. of the heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We also have other persons. We have we have three, three, four. Kitisha, George is saying three hundred and thirty-four. Come thou fount of every blessing to my heart to sing thy grace. Mm -hmm. Come 
Yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds and grips a soft drop. Let's sing the Spells all darkness. Exactly. that is your sentiment, that is the joy of your heart, then sing out to Jesus Christ. wonderful peace. Far away in the depths of my spirit tonight rose a melody sweeter than song. 
in celestial like a strain like strains it unceasingly falls for my soul like an infinite calm well i trust that you know that one <laughs> <laughs> Alan, do you know that one yes i do yes. all right wonderful okay. so we would have singles i would home with them <laughs> Barbara St. Louis is suggesting hymn number one. Right. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Almighty King of creation, O my soul, praise him for he is thy health and salvation. Mm -hmm. So just in case you have a burning song on your heart, now is the time to send it out. Of the rem. 
lambs of the lambs and countries so round and so fair and all for his glories confess but what must it be to be there we speak of his pathway of gold his was and with jewels so rare his wonder and pleasures untold but what must it be Let's go, we sing and we speak of his freedom, let's go. We speak of his freedom from sin, from sorrow, temptation, and care, from trials without and within. But what must it be to be known? We speak of his service of love, of the road which of glory find way. Of the church of the firstborn of all, but what must it be to so let's answer the question tonight. Oh, morning is all at an end, and where is my life-giving word? He see the new city descend, and don't ask a bride for the Lord. Lord. The city so holy and clean. No sorrow can breathe in the air, no gloom of affliction or sin, no shadow of evil is there. Now, through the midst temptation and woe, for heaven my spirit prepare, and shortly I also shall know, shall feel what it is to be there. Let all the bright fields we shall roam in glory celestial and fair with saints and with angels at home and Jesus himself will be there. Oh friends, what a lovely day that will be Amen. when we shall meet our Jesus face to face in all of his glory. We will be able to meet the angels. We will be able to meet those that we have lost, our loved ones that passed on from life unto death. We shall be reunited. And that is why there is such a joy on our hearts when we sing about heaven and the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And so this time, what we are going to do, we are going to turn our attention to see whom we have giving Sabbath greetings. So now is your time to send Sabbath greetings. And I'm sure you know those who are here at this time. So you can send your personal greeting to them. Don't send all for one person to make the rest of us look bad. You can send, send enough for all of us so that all of us can feel good. And so Alanda, who do we have? See that you, the lady among us. Mm -hmm. Who do we have? We, we sat enough gracefully. Well, firstly, we have Pastor Isidore, and he is giving us Sabbath blessings, and he is praying God's divine blessings on everyone. All right, amen, amen. All right, Francisca, she's saying wonderful singing. Well, wonderful singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless your vocal cords. Exactly. <laughs> that you well. continue to sing for Jesus Christ. Amen, All right. amen. Dear Joseph. He's saying Sabbath blessings from Montserrat. All right. Very Sabbath nice. to you. So we sang number 15, so we fulfilled the request of oh. Montserrat. Yeah. And as I always say, we want to see persons from China. We want to see persons from Africa, persons from India. Trinidad is right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Karakou. That's all right, too. St. Vincent, St. <laughs> Lucia. We want yeah. to be graced with your presence. Well, Pastor, we have St. Lucia in the house. All right, we wonderful. Jasper Austin. Mm -hmm. St. Lucia in the house tonight. Yes, wonderful. The Helen of the West. Yeah. Oh, I wonder yeah, if we have the land of many waters. <laughs> All right, we have Pastor Ashton O'Neill. From mm -hmm. Trinidad. Ella, you, you know Pastor O'Neill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> so, of course, he is, he is the one who is spearheading, I believe, Pastor Ministries. Ministry, He's yeah. still there. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we shout out Pastor O'Neill. We also have... Sister Murray, Sister Ruby Murray, All happy right, Sabbath Ruby to Murray. you. All right, so Sister Ruby, you better call out Ricky Murray. Yeah. Call out Ricky <laughs> Murray. All right, who else do we have? We have Lena Gilbert. All right. Good night, family. Happy Sabbath to all. All happy right, Sabbath thank to you. you that you have given us the opportunity to be 
part of your family. That's right. That is why we are Christians. We're glad that we're part of the family exactly. of exactly. God. Anybody else? Then we have Brother Martin Bowler. Pleasant Sabbath to you all. And you, you, I guess he wanted us to sing him 388. All right, all right. But you so, may be turning too late. All right. <laughs> Jewel Kato. I'm seeing Jewel there. Yeah. Uh, Jewel is from St. John's. Quite a jubilant young lady. All right, all right. <laughs> Bobbly. We have Ricardo. Saying happy Sabbath from Jamaica. Uh, all okay. right. Happy so we have Sabbath Jamaica in the house yeah. tonight. Very, very nice. I see Scott also is in. Happy Sabbath to you. We have well, Ricardo. And I met a good friend today, Denry Lewis. We call him Day. But I'm not seeing him yet. He promised that he's going to log on. Mm -hmm. And make sure tonight, of course, we want our viewership to pass 100. 100 oh, yeah. is a little number. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we want you, we want persons to, to link up. That's right. Call your friends. Yeah. If you see somebody here that you know, call the rest of your friends and tell them, that your friend is on Facebook and an interesting <laughs> topic yeah. is going to be spoken about tonight, discussed. And so I know you want to be part of it. Mm -hmm. And the opportunity will be given to you also to share your views, share your concerns, share your thoughts on the different issues and areas that we'll be looking at. So tonight is your night. Of course, it's a Sabbath, Jesus Christ. But it's about our young people. It's about our youth. How our young people feel, what they are thinking, how they overcome, how they succeed, how they can rise to the top, how they can fly and soar on wings of eagles. Yeah. That is what yeah. tonight is going to entail. We also have Dennis George. He said, hi, good night, and happy Sabbath to, to everyone. Yeah. So Dennis, to you. Dennis is sending for everybody. Yeah. I feel good already. Yeah. Yeah. I, see, I see one here from her as well. She says, Happy Sabbath. Okay. Blessings, Pastor Lyons. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sister okay, George, okay. all the way from New York. Oh, oh how nice. nice. All right. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Venus. All right. We have some more people just sending their Happy Sabbath there. We have Angela Francis. Happy right. Sabbath from St. Lucia. All right. Very nice. So fast having nice. come to me. We have about five to six Lucians in the house yeah, so far. Right. We, we know we have somebody from Jamaica. We have somebody from Jamaica. We have Montserrat. Trinidad in the house. We have Trinidad Montserrat Montserrat in the house. Yeah. We have um, New York. New York um, is in the house. From All right. Well, um, I wonder if we have enough Grenadians in the house. I wonder, yeah. You know, yeah. I because we have persons from outside. That's right. We want to see if we have enough persons from Grenada, Grenada tuning in, liking, sharing. So make sure that is part of what you need to do tonight. Like, share the page. Right now it's Sabbath greeting time. We're saying hello, hi. You can send it personally. You can send it publicly. You can send it for one person. You can send it for everybody. What is your choice? That's okay. Just send it and let us enjoy ourselves in the Lord. Raquel. Fraser saying happy Sabbath again and may you be blessed in an extra special way this Sabbath. Thank you so much. All right. Edward saying happy Sabbath, church family. All right. All right, all right. We're coming down. We have Joy saying good night and happy Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Andre Williams, happy Sabbath to you. That's right. Guyana. Oh, Guyana. Yeah, okay. yeah we have Guyana. <laughs> nice. Andre Williams. Yes. yes. We're going far, Andrew man. Andre Williams, very nice. Yeah. Let's keep going, let's keep going, let's see who else we have. Rondell Wilson, happy Sabbath to the wonderful group of singers on the panel. All yeah. right, all right. <laughs> so we're looking for Barbados, we're looking for Dominica, and St. Vincent. Vincent. Yeah. These yeah. are close, so yeah. I believe it's not too much to ask. Okay. So you can still call them up and tell them we're asking for them. So Kelvin Dragon, he was here about two nights friday nights ago yeah, saying good night and happy sabbath all nathan see you rocking <laughs> yeah. all right so he's yeah. rocking the rocking fashion the that's style right. all yeah, right yeah. all right yeah, that's a trend uh, past the ball head and the beard okay uh -huh. okay that's a trend that's a trend <laughs> yeah. all right so our young people our young people all right, all right. krista bain she said that she believed that we have reached 100 plus views before okay. the program is over in the name of Jesus. All right. Yeah. So, of course, Lord. after Sabbath greeting, we hope 100. Yeah. Of course, we reach 100 uh, after Pastor Sabbath greeting. We're currently greeting. averaging around 90 people. 90. 90. All right. So, we're almost there. We're, we're almost, almost there tonight. There. So, we're sending out the cry again. 
We have 90. We're looking for 100. And when we hit the 100, after that, we're climbing in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. And you have to remain viewing and call somebody else so that we can stabilize and grow. And grow, exactly. All right? Tonight is going to be hot in Jesus' yeah. name. All right, have, J.D.O. Kato. J.D.O. Kato. We right. have Pastor Manzano from Andy Trinidad. Manzano. And Pastor Manzano will be coming in very soon. Very soon. Yeah. I believe we would do a little bit of promotion, a little bit more yeah. after uh, we take our first special song. We have Frederick again, Lucian's in the house, so they're healing up. The right. Lucian's, yeah. Lucian's in the house. I see a Grenada flag. <laughs> yeah, a Grenada so flag, we say yeah. Grenada yeah, to the, they say to the boat. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Bolio. We have Bolio in the house. All right. Bolio, we say Bolio is in the house. We have New York in the house New York again. is in the house. We have Drake's. All right. We have Kimo. Kimo. One of our youth life personnel. All, all right. the way nice, from nice. America. He say, are they too, pal? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Happy Sabbath, guys. All right. All right. All right. So we, all right. So, I've just been informed that we have reached the 100 mark. So you can give yourselves a round of applause. And don't forget, right now, we stabilize. No, no, no. Not time to stabilize yeah. yet. Now it's time to climb in exactly. Jesus' name. So Amen. still call persons and let them know we're climbing in Jesus because tonight we're breaking the record for Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. We have Colin Gibbs saying happy Sabbath, Sabbath to everyone. everyone. And we have... Who is that? Just Goss saying happy Sabbath from New York. New York. All right. God Peter Peters from Birch Grove. Birch Grove in the so house. We have Emlyn Farmers oh, from Toronto. Toronto. Very nice. Canada is in the house. Yes. We have Akinda all the way from Fort Lauderdale. All right. All right. All right. We going up, man. We, we have, have Samora Best, man. All yeah. right. Yeah. Happy right. Sabbath, guys. We that have a Dominican pastor. Nice. St. Martin. Martin. So there, Darissa Rodney. We go and Donna Memphis. Spring saying good night from the UK. From the UK, <laughs> yeah. all right. Very nice man. Hi Maxine, yeah. how are you? So that person seemed to know yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, yeah. Pastor Manzano is saying looking forward to see you all soon at the Sanctuary yeah. series yeah. with Pastor Marlon, Marlon Peters. Peters. So that will be in Eastern too. Yeah. But we'll say a little yeah, bit more exactly. just now. We'll tell you that we'll be there live and direct everything would be in your favor for your viewing for your pleasure and so you would not miss anything on that program so don't worry we have already given the go ahead for that to take place mm -hmm. we have Lauren farmers from Lauren, where are you from Lauren? Gainesville Fort Lauderdale all right oh. okay okay no okay. no that's that's for Victor okay for okay, okay. <laughs> we know Lauren Lauren where are you from Lauren <laughs> where are you from Lauren <laughs> And we have Trisha, Trisha Jones Williams. Good night and happy, happy Sabbath. Sabbath, brethren. Well, good night to you. And happy Sabbath. Pass the Bayesian flag. All Bajan, right, so the Bayesian flag. <laughs> Joy Sandiford. So we represent it real nice tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. All right, Krista Bain. We have Donna all the way from London, Pastor. All right. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Donna Spring. So we're doing right. well. We're doing well. All right. And you have Cherry and McLean Murray. Happy Sabbath to all. All, all right. So, Krista been 100 plus. We've made it. And so, we say congratulations. Lauren Thomas, happy Sabbath from Monfendu. Monfendu in the house. So, Monfendu is in the house. I wonder why we're not here in Sotel's side. Yeah. <laughs> and we're not here in St. George's side. And we're not here in Birch Grove sign. Mm -hmm. All right, we, had, so. we had someone from Birch Grove pass. Oh, we had somebody yeah, from Birch yeah, Grove. Yeah, from yeah, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Pastor, okay. just see, we some few came there. We had um, we had somebody from Guyana, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if I'm correct, right, right there. All right. Sonia Williams. All right. Blessings from Guyana. Okay. And we have oh. Doris Alexander saying, Pastor Lance and sisters and brother, happy Sabbath. All right. And we have Chad Gulaman. Now, I'm Chad sure Gulaman enough. is pastoring in Suriname. Exactly. So, he's yeah. a Lucian pastor in yeah. Suriname. And he has joined us tonight. So, Pastor, welcome to you. And don't forget, Pastor, make sure you call up the whole congregation right. and tell them Youth Life Unplug is on tonight. Mm -hmm. So, you want the whole of Suriname to be viewing. You can call up the president, the executive secretary, good friends. We sit together on the master's program. So let them know we're on tonight and we're looking forward to seeing them. And so, all right, we have Berlin Ferguson. From there we see the Lucian flag again, the hell in of the West, yeah. flying high tonight. 
And so we acknowledge the healing of the West in the house yeah. tonight. And so even as we acknowledge all our friends, all our loved ones, and all those who are viewing tonight, what we are going to do, we are going to pause for a cause. Stay tuned. We'll take a special song. And after the special song is over, then you'll be able to see those lovely faces and the all right one that is talking to you right now. We serve a God who is more than able to deliver us and to set us free. All we need to do is to give him our worries. God is great and he's mighty. There's nothing he cannot do. Sometimes I am down, but I know my Jesus, he is looking out for me, yes Lord, I'm going to give you all my pain, I'm going to cast it on him, so Lord take it all. All of my pain I surrender all I surrender all All of my shame God you are good Lord you are God God you are good Lord you are God So I surrender all Satan is a liar He's the great deceiver uh -uh. He is coming after you So let me tell you what to do Surrender to Jesus There's nothing he can do so I surrender all, I surrender all, all of my shame. Lord, you are God. So I the trumpet see in that city. No more pain, no more sorrow. A brighter tomorrow. I can't wait to get there Take it all, take all of my pain I surrender all, I surrender all All of my shame God, you are good, Lord, you are God so, Lord, take it all, take it all, take all of my pain. I surrender all. God, you are good, Lord, you are God. God, you are good, Lord, you are God. God, you are good, Lord, you are God. So I surrender all. God, you are good, Lord, you are God. God, you are good, Lord, you are God. So I surrender all. I wrote this song. All right, we say welcome back to you. We say thank you for staying tuned and for listening to that wonderful special that we had in store for you. I know that you were blessed and you continue to be blessed. Remember, tonight is going to be a lovely night in Jesus. It's already Sabbath night. It's Jesus time. It's worship. It's praise time. And we have so many lovely things in store 
for you and I can tell you that in the next few days and maybe should I say weeks weeks might just be too long mm -hmm. we have some interesting events that will be taking place and so I'm gonna ask Ella Noel Maxim Noel to just tell us we were speaking about Pastor Manzano can you tell us well, um, what is coming what's coming around the corner well um the Eastern 2 District of SDA presents the Road to Glory with Pastor Andy Manzano. Well, he's soon to be Dr. Pastor Andy Manzano. All right. So he's doing his doctorate. I can tell you, if you really want to hear good exposition on a sermon, exegetical sermon, this is a man to come out and hear because he's, he was my homiletical teacher that taught us how to preach and so on. So there is something good in store for you. And the, 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 the flyer says that it starts August the 23rd to the 31st of 2019 from 7 p.m. right at Subi's SDA Church and we don't really we don't want you to miss it please turn on come out in your numbers invite a friend let them know what is happening at the Subi's SDA Church all right all right so I'm seeing I'm seeing Tobago in the house just to say Tobago Trinidad and Tobago same beautiful rendition so Trinidad and Tobago is being represented here we also have East Central and that is with Pastor Jason Peters they're having a gospel explosion. It is called The King is Coming with Pastor Shonos Izido starting Friday, 23rd August 2019. The place will be Butch Grove, 7 p.m. nightly. We have marriages, baby, dedication, prayer, talent night, gifts, and much more. Some hot topics that you can look forward to. It says The King is Coming, The Strange Man of Modern Metal. How to start life all over again. Why so much suffering? Move your hand. How does a dead man feel when his wife is having an affair? What? Mm -hmm. Pastor, it's not easy. So that kind of topic there, you must come out to hear that. You can't miss that. So we're saying 23rd August 2019, Pastor Isido would be blazing the trail for Jesus Christ. So you need to come out, be present, register your presence, and be blessed in Jesus Christ. But the best, do we have anything else? We have anything else coming? No, I don't think so, Pastor. I think all right. we touched it all. Are you sure? <laughs> because I believe somewhere down on the west. Is it the west? What if it's the west? I think Bouchejou, they're supposed to have a youth program tomorrow, please God. Uh -huh. And also on St. David's side. I believe they have religious liberty, okay. a religious liberty program coming. And just around the corner, we also have adventurers. They'll be having a concert. A concert in preparation for 2020. Now, 2020 is going to be a boss year. So you have to make sure that 2020 you also represent it. I will show you a promo video, but we'll not do it yet. We'll take it in just a moment and so at this time what we're going to do we are going to do quiz it's quiz yeah. time yeah quiz time you have joined us for such a time as this and so we'll take the quiz and we'll begin our quiz question with best <laughs> <laughs> wonderful pass just to give you all a little heads up uh this evening the quiz questions will be coming from Patriarchs and Prophets, chapter 45 to 48. You know, normally we have them from the Bible, but we're kind of turning it up a bit, Pastor. Okay. <laughs> and increasing the intensity. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Right. So, Patriarchs and Prophets, chapter 45 to 48. So, if you have your book on your, your shelf, you know, the two. Which one of the gods was Jericho especially devoted to? A. Astroth, goddess of the moon. B. Ares, god of war. C, Poseidon, god of the sea. D, Hera, goddess of marriage, mothers, and family. Mm -hmm. The answers again, A, Astroth, goddess of the moon. B, Ares, god of war. C, Poseidon, god of the sea. And D, Hera, goddess of marriage, mothers, and family. Which one? Which of these gods was Jericho especially 
be voted to. All right, and of course, mm -hmm. don't lapse on us now. If you don't know the answer, you can send out your call to another friend. So right now, you're linking, call your friends, ask them, you think that's the answer? And then send it, send it for us so that we can, we can heal you up. Well, Pastor, I don't know if they got a section of the script. Um. If we have some Bible students here, but we have yeah. four blazing young ladies here. All right. Five, anyway. six, seven. Right. Everybody Please coming man. in now. Darisa, with, Pinky, with Andre. the answer. All right. And Pastor, they have locked it in. Nobody is changing their mind. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And they are correct. All the right. answer is A. All Astra, right. goddess right. of the moon, from okay. Patriarchs and Prophets, page 487. Dot two. All right, nice. Alanda. Okay, the second question. Immediately after the fall of Jericho, which town was Joshua determined to attack? So immediately after the fall of Jericho, which town was Joshua determined to attack? Was it A, Beth Horon, B, Geba, C, Ai, or D, Gath? I'll repeat. Is it A, Beth Horan, B, Geba, C, Ai, or D, Gath? And so the answer appears. I think Janelle, Andre, Desiree, Delhi, Spice Lady, and continues. You all have gotten the answer. The answer is AI from Patriarchs and Prophet 493. All right. Well, Henry nice. Sergeant and all is in the house yeah, tonight. Yeah. Henry Sergeant representing Snail Hall area, yeah. Rose Hill. So we say big up to you and call up all your friends. Call them up. Tell them you're on. So mm -hmm. let, them, let them join too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Rally, rally, robots. So we have Dan, Dan. Come down the answer. Now. All right, pass. What do we have? Well, yeah. Well, um, question three. Why? Why were the military operations sus suspended? Question three. Why were the military operations suspended? Answer A. Husband can spend time with their spouses. Father can spend time with their children. Access where next to a to attack, and solemn religious service let me repeat answer a husband can spend time with their spouses father can spend time with their children access when next to attack solemn religious service all right so let us see how sharp your brain is <laughs> person coming through pass all right yeah all right let's see let's see let us see i'm not telling you the answer is <laughs> soon i said let us see <laughs> let's see one of the answers is there all right yeah hada hada pascal pascal he's saying something there yeah. hada is saying something there all right Rodney. Yeah, is saying something. bob rodney darissa is saying something Taken from pt at 400 of the gibeonites to do some guessing tonight <laughs> What is the answer? A4, B5, C7, D8. Which one? That's an Africa hard one pass. <laughs> yeah, they might have a guess tonight. Shima Hamlet says CD. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So, what's your answer? What's your answer? I hope it's not D, you know. I hope your answer is not D. All right, so Very somebody's easy. asking what's the correct answer for number three. I believe the correct answer for number three would have been D. D, yeah. Yeah, D. Yeah, solid D. religious service. Yeah. All right. Hannah Pascal, A, four. All right. Anybody else want to challenge Hannah tonight? Hannah is saying A. She was getting it right a little while now. So let's see if anybody can challenge Hannah. I Just believe, yeah. well, they have another answer. Joyce Sandyford, you're saying something different to Hannah. 
I wonder if you want to disagree with Hannah or you want to agree with Hannah. <laughs> but let me tell you something. It might be better to agree with Hannah tonight because A4 is the answer. So, Krista Bain, A, yes, 4 is the answer. So, we thank you very much for participating in our quiz tonight. And before we take our promotional video for our Karoom Adventure Camp 2020, I'm going to tell you that the topic tonight is define the odds. And I know that there are so many of you who would have made it through some dark, tough, rough, sad times in your life. And tonight we will speak about persons who are able to rise above the rest, who are able to come out triumphantly and victoriously as though nothing happened. They were able to rise. We don't want to say like the phoenix from the ashes, but they were able to rise like Jesus from the grave, yeah, man. Right, yeah. When Satan was trying to hold him down, he was able to rise. And so defying the odds is what we're going to speak about tonight. But before we get there, we will take our promotional video for Karu 2020 Adventure. Calling all adventurers, parents, guardians, and leaders of adventure clubs. You can be a part of one of the most exhilarating and exciting kids' events in the Caribbean Union Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. The 2020 Christ Salvation Adventure Campery will take place April 7th to 12th at the Old Bury Campsite, St. Philip in Barbados. Come play, learn, and worship with over 3,000 adventurers Spanish, French, English, and Dutch from throughout the Caribbean Union. The Caribbean Union Cry Salvation Adventure Camp 2020 will feature daily morning devotions, evening consecration services, parades, drilling and marching, new awards, live events, sporting activities, country tours, live and exciting evening programs featuring the story and life of the runaway prophet Jonah. The 2020 Christ Salvation Adventure Campery. Make new friends from various countries. Learn a language. Exchange cultural things. Come develop a closer relationship with Jesus. Join the movement of young Seventh-day Adventists who are part of a powerful generation of youth in the Caribbean Union Conference. This is the first of its kind. Karoo Adventure Campery and will only be repeated once every five years. Don't miss it. You must be there. April 7th to 12th, 2020. Christ Salvation Adventure Campery. Oldbury Campsite, St. Philip Barbados. Register today with your local youth department. Christ Salvation Caribbean Union Adventure Campery 2020. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Calling all adventurers, parents, guardians, and leaders of adventure. Youth Life Unplugged. This evening I have with me a lovely panel. They can sing, that I can tell you. And many mm -hmm. of you would have testified to the fact or the reality that they have good vocal cords. <laughs> and so, added to good vocal cords, they also have a wealth of knowledge, experience that they can draw from tonight to share with us on our topic define the odds and so i'm going to just ask them to say their name just tell just tell us your name that's all we don't want to know much again we don't want to know if you're married <laughs> just tell us your name oh. all right well, my name is maxine noel from snell st patrick's all right 
My name is Alanda Joseph. I attend the Grand Roy SD Church. And I am Nathan Best from the Western Hall Semi Adventist Church. And if you please, you can call me Bernard Lyons. And well, I work along with the Northeastern District as the, the pastor there. And so, of course, tonight we're saying define the odds. And I know that you have your struggles as we all would have had our struggles at different points in our lives. And we'll talk about it tonight. You would share, would you share? Yeah, yeah, I trust that you'll be willing to share <laughs> your experience as you'll be willing to share your experience with us. So don't forget, now is actually the time when we need you more than ever because somebody would be encouraged by what you would say tonight and by what we would be sharing with you. So let's all share and let us grow. Let us grow and learn and be empowered together. And we can begin by saying, the question was asked, can any good thing come from Nazareth? Hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was really the, should we say, the hometown of the man called, they call Jesus. Jesus yeah. And from person's perspective and based on research and so on, it was not a place that was popular, that was well known for riches and yeah. good talents and being able to rise above the rest. But somebody, something came from there. Somebody came from there and actually made a difference. And probably that's the reason why we are here tonight and we can speak about defying the odds. Mm -hmm. And so as we move into our discussion about defying the odds, I would just ask, when we hear that defying the odds, what comes to mind? Define the odds. Just to break it down a little bit, so just in case we have somebody 10 years and they're listening, they're viewing, they will be able to understand. And of course, viewers, remember you have the chance to share with us. Don't go nowhere, don't go anywhere. Now is your time. Define the odds. What would you say? Define the odds. I would say standing out amidst the, the, the crisis, mm -hmm. amidst what people might be saying, so just being stand, just standing out from what people are saying. All right. I would say going against the grain. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like, here's a powerful term that's standing out. Okay. And it's similar to going against the grain because when you go in, in line with the grain, you tend to blend in. But to go against it puts you kind of on a... Mm. on a stool so to speak mm -hmm. over everything else so you you become noticed mm -hmm. and in order to defy the odds you must be noticed for doing something that is odd if I should put it that All way right. you know going against the crowd tide okay 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 well what I would say to break it down for simplest term um, well there's a general perception as regards to certain things mm -hmm. right um, in the light of public view, mm -hmm. the crowd may have this view regarding something, but as our elder here says, mm -hmm. if you stand out, if you have a, a different point of view, mm -hmm. and you, you wish to go against it, mm -hmm. but you know that in your mind it is right to do, then that's how you view it, and then you go with your decision. Okay, all right, all right, mm -hmm. all right, so... Spice Lady, brave boy, saying exceeding people's Expedition. expectations. Trisha Jones Williams is saying rising. rising above challenges. And don't forget, you can chat too. You, know, you can chat with one another. So when they send a comment, you can back them up. You can support it. You can encourage. Just share. Let's just share tonight. Mm -hmm. And we've reached 100. We maintain. We climb, and we go in Jesus' name. Amen. So define the odds. Now let me ask. What about art? Right, so we have Hannah Pascal saying overcoming your struggles when you feel weak and shocking, shocking those who didn't yeah. believe in you. Now, that's hard to. Yeah. That's yeah. hard. Yeah, that's yeah, powerful. yeah. That's powerful. Shocking those who did not believe in you. As yeah, a matter of fact, I believe we had some results that came out recently. That really shocked people as well. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> and some persons would have done exceptionally well, and they would have defied the odds when everybody else, persons were saying. 
she can make it, he cannot make it. After you hear those results, you say, my God, it must have been the blessings of God. She probably really prayed and God saw her through. All right, so rising above challenges, overcoming, exceeding expectation. But let me ask a question. Mm. Our socioeconomic background, should that in any way affect our ability to succeed? No. You say no, no. abruptly. <laughs> yes. Back up your no. Because that in and of itself is the nutshell of defying the odds. You know, if you were limited by our socioeconomic background, then there is no purpose to defy the odds. But the fact we are able to succeed and exceed where we came from is the main focus of the term define the odds. Okay. So that's why I say no. Okay. Hmm. What about socioeconomic? Money. 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 The society. The house that you live in. Community society. The community, I've heard persons say Kirani came from gun battle. Mm -hmm. well, that's what they say. And he was able to make it on the big stage. And we also have persons in our circle who would have made it. Mm -hmm. They're not rich, but they made it. So the question is, is it necessary for success? Riches, is it necessary for success? Not really, no. not really. Because when you, when you think about who is your father, Mm -hmm. which is Jesus Christ and he, he owns everything mm -hmm. anything is possible when you have Christ on your side mm -hmm. and I can, I can be a testimony of that because when I started school I didn't have any money all right <laughs> well look I am here today okay. with a degree mm -hmm. and I started out with no money but God see me through mm -hmm. by providing mm -hmm. for me as well all right all right so no that's beautiful that's beautiful I'll come back to that you know <laughs> Alright, Sister Alanda, she's uttering something. Let's hear it. Well, yes, I agree with my two colleagues here that socioeconomic status has nothing to do with, you know, you achieving a sense, a level of success. Mm -hmm. Because, um, because of experience, I can attest to that. Well, I can share my story. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many of us knows my story, but a lot of people know our story. Mm -hmm. You know us, right? Um, our father died, he left behind 10 children, and um, we had to be sheltered under our mother's wings, mm -hmm. and she strove very hard mm -hmm. so that, you know, a lot of us succeeded, mm -hmm. and each of us succeeded in our own way. All right. So that's another thing, what do we consider as success? Yeah. All right, big point. Okay. Um, about six of us. Mm -hmm. um, I should say about seven. Seven of us attained secondary education. Mm -hmm. um, currently, about three possess a, a, a bachelor's degree. And uh, four of us are teachers. One is a nurse. One has pursued her education in social, social work. Mm -hmm. Two are established con well, trade men, mm -hmm. as you say, with you know, they work very hard, and because of success, the hard work that you put into it, right now they have their own establishment, and then, well, one, she is currently pursuing her bachelor's online, and one is overseas and everything. I, w I just said that to say that persons look at you, and they look at your situation, and they try to anticipate what life would be like for you. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that my mother did, she didn't give us away. Mm -hmm. Even if persons wanted us to split up and, you know, she did, not, she did not give us away and she took us to church. And we would say that church was that place that we, we found our foundation that kept us grounded. And uh, Wisdom comes from God, and that's one of the things that allowed us to achieve success. Mm -hmm. So, what I can say is that, no matter where we come from, mm -hmm. the circumstances that we went through, they make us stronger, mm -hmm. and with the Heavenly Father by our side, we can achieve success. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So we might say success depends on one depends on someone's resilience and the ability and determination to make it regardless of the challenges. Alright? We're saying Jeffrey saying people judge, but the end is shocking. Alright, so define the odds. And of course, send your comments. Send your comments. Send your send your experience and let us see what achievements, what success you are able to attain by defying the odds. Alright, and of course, Maxine. So he said he went to university and now he has a bachelor's degree in theology. Correct. You're rich? No. So you went to university. <laughs> and university plenty money? Exactly. Thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. That's what I'm sure. But he was able to make it. Yeah. And despite of. So so you're really saying that money isn't so essential in terms of making it on the educational stage as some persons think. Um no. Even though you you would need the money, mm -hmm. but it's not an essential factor. Okay. Especially when it comes to the believer. Uh -huh. Because to be honest, the non believer would not take a risk like that. Okay. <laughs> you know, the, mm -hmm. the non believer the non believer would always want to see something. Mm -hmm. But the believer believes that faith is something that we don't really see. Mm -hmm. You know, we just believe that it is there and it could be achieved. Um as you talk about money, when I when I recently when I looked at my account and what I had paid off mm -hmm. in USC, mm -hmm. it reached around four hundred thousand TT. Alright. No, I'm saying to myself, <laughs> is it equivalent to me, close to maybe 200,000 EC? Uh -huh. If I had that money in my hand, uh -huh. no way I could have studied theology, <laughs> you know? But God has a way of how he works out yes, things. And yes. um, when it comes to academia, mm -hmm. it's all about being disciplined mm -hmm. and being, set, well, having some form of faith and trust in mm -hmm. God that he would always provide right. the needs for you to achieve what you really put your mind to, mm -hmm. to achieve. All right. And um, Janelle Hamlet is saying success is to know God and to obey him. Trisha mm -hmm. Williams saying true, they look at you and, what, and want you to fail, but it's up to you to press on and reach your goal. So let me ask that question now on your road to success, so you would have achieved, on your road to success. What are the negatives? What are the negatives? I'm asking you tonight. On your road to success, what are the negatives? What are person saying about you? How did they view you? What were they thinking about you? Well, of course, thinking is in the mind, you know, but expressing thoughts and actions. So what were the actions and the expressions towards you? Well, you can start now. <laughs> <laughs> Best, what about your time in, in secondary school? In secondary school? Well, Pastor, to be honest with you, I've never, thinking about it, I've always had a very good support system. Okay. Uh, that would be a family support system, a church support system, and a school support system. Now, my secondary school life, when I got to Form 4, mm -hmm. up until that point, I had, I had good grades. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to be a straight A student back in primary school. And I took that into form one, form two, and then I decided to be a bit more active in okay. extracurricular activities. Okay, okay, okay. So my grades went from good to average. Mm -hmm. But I always kept at it. Mm -hmm. And then in form four, mm -hmm. my first my first term in form four, my grades just disappeared. Mm -hmm. I come to think of it, we still don't know how. I had grades for midterm, but for end of term, I was getting absence and zeros for exams that I did. And if I had a midterm grade, then there should be an end term grade. Mm -hmm. Even if I wasn't there for the rest of the term, it should be some grade, mm -hmm. something. But I had no grades at all. And so there was a big transition for me then. My mother moved me from a public school to a private school. And it was a whole different... It was a new culture to learn, a new school setup, mm -hmm. but that didn't hinder me okay. because from that transition, a lot of my public school friends 
kind of turn up their nose on me now because they were born it and had money. Eh? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> From but public to private. From public to private. Okay, okay. But it was never that situation. You know, my parents always fought, fought taught everything they wanted to do. And they decided that education was something big mm-hmm. for their children, me and my brother. Mm-hmm. So they did necessary pre-preparations before mm-hmm. even thinking about us. They prepared for us so that in case something like that needed to happen, they had the resources already prepared for that to happen. And so that switched to private school. It was a big toll because I lost most of my public school friends because now they think that I feel I stush. Oh, and I'm better than them. Okay. But in reality, sometimes to succeed, you might have to lose the things that weigh you down. Mm-hmm. And that might have been cause for that. So I had a little back and forth with that. And I myself didn't like the private school mm-hmm. because there's that private school mentality that mm-hmm. people see. Okay. You know, if you're in a private school, you have money, you have okay. bougie, you stuff, yeah. whatever they say. And I didn't like that. I don't want people to see me that way because I know that is not my situation. I was right. just fortunate mm-hmm. because of what my parents had done previously. Mm-hmm. And so I had to work through that. And now my grades are coming back up and I'm doing extracurricular activities. And that then transitioned into Time CC. And going into Time CC, I didn't know what I wanted to do. My my still my aim goal and my ultimate goal is aviation. Mm-hmm. I want to be a helicopter pilot all right, all right. and an engineer in okay, the avionics okay. department. You you hear that? You hearing that? <laughs> all right. <laughs> However, that is not all for that time CC. All right. So okay. the question is, what would I do? Mm-hmm. Now I sat down with the dean who knew my father very well, and she was like, "Do you want to follow in the footsteps of your father and do electrical engineering?" Mm-hmm. But I mean, I was doing electrical work with my father on the side. I didn't. It was something that I could do, mm-hmm. but I didn't see it as my passion. So not I chose niche. electronics, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. was close, mm-hmm. but not far. Okay. And I, I realized that was my passion because at a young age, I used to take apart things and try to put them back together or build something else from the scraps. Mm-hmm. And so I went on to electronics and throughout my electronics course, I started to excel. Even in courses I programmed, and I'd never forget that programming course because the whole class was stunned. I'm not really somebody that takes a lot of notes in class. So when people saw me, Literally for that semester, I had four pages of notes in that programming class, which is one of the hardest courses when you're just learning how to program a chip. And at the end of the course, I had the highest overall grade for that course. And people were stunned because I had no notes in my book. Nobody could have come to me to ask me for notes to revise. Mm -hmm. But everything that came to me, I knew it from my head because I was actively programming. And then that transitioned into me being selected to represent Grenada in 2017 in the first ever, first global robotics competition. Come on, there we have it. Come on, our young people can <laughs> succeed. So, yeah, Come on. Definitely. Also, in addition to that, my final project from Time CC was in collaboration with a school from Canada known as the Nova Scotia Community College. Mm-hmm. And that was also in collaboration with Grenlec where we had to build a weather station for Grenlec's power plant, solar farm in mm-hmm. Plains. Okay. To monitor the weather conditions up there. So that would be temperature, humidity, sun intensity and cloud coverage just mm-hmm. so that Grenada could can Grenada could have a an idea of they wanted to invest in weather systems but we built one just mm-hmm. a prototype for them to have an idea mm-hmm. of what they should expect from a weather system so all these things like i said it, that big change was a setback for me it's something i didn't want and something that played on my conscience but from it i was able to succeed and continue to build from that all right. so that's where i all see right. that yeah. very nice very nice so what were the negatives persons were saying about you and towards you on your way to success? And of course, it's always, it's always that way when you have two close friends and one person or one family thinks better and then the other thinks worse off and you always have that talk of war taking place, who is better than the other. You never experience that? You never had a friend. Well, I, I, I really never experienced the, the negativity from or within my family. In fact, I was blessed with the privilege that my entire family was very supportive mm-hmm. uh, towards me. However, you would always get negativity on the outside that in relation to your community. Mm-hmm. Because remember, um, accepting to one study theology, mm-hmm. my friends on the blog, they were, they were very surprised. Mm-hmm. Because they know the type of lifestyle, ah, <laughs> you know, they know the type of life. It was very surprising, they know the type right, of lifestyle. Right. 
that I was living. Mm -hmm. So the first thing they said to me, um, you are going again. So we know what will happen because we know that you have just come out from being a part of us. Mm. You decided to make a change and you came back out again. Okay. So we know what's going to happen. We're just giving you a time. Okay, okay. You, you know? So, so they that, gave me the time to fail then? They gave me the time to oh, fail. Okay, okay. But I'm still here. <laughs> Praise right. the Lord. I accomplished what I started. Mm -hmm. But you always find persons on the other side trying to be negative to you. Mm. But if you always keep your, your focus on what you're trying to achieve and mm. always remember that um, once God call you, he will equip you mm. and he will provide the necessity for mm. you to accomplish what you start. You will always make it if you just keep focus. And that was, that, that was one of the things that they always used to do, just keep in focus mm -hmm. and keep trusting the Lord mm -hmm. so that he can provide the necessity for me to achieve what I started. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, do you know, sometimes they, they say negative things about us. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't necessarily be true. But after a while, because they say it so long, you know they say when you say something long enough, it almost becomes true. Yeah. You ever reached to a point where you started believing the negative that they were saying? Hmm. You never reached that point? Come on, viewing audience, you never reached that point on the road to success. Persons were saying negative things about you. Did you reach that point where you actually started believing, it started getting to you under your skin? You started believing what they were saying about you and it started causing you to lose hope and trust in what you were doing and even in yourself. Have you reached? Did you reach that point? Well, pass. Pass, I'm going to limb him. All right, you're going to limb. <laughs> I'm going to limb him right, and say this. Right. But make sure you can come back from the limb. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, of course. Um, being from a young age, I was very active. I still am very active in the youth department. Even... In my teenagers, I've always liked the youth department so much that at age 15, I was the assistant uh, part final leader for my club back in Wester Hall. Mm -hmm. And from then to now, I have held that position up until the point where I left Grenada last year to go to Cuba. Mm -hmm. And in 2018, I transitioned to head AY leader of the church. Mm -hmm. But my passion has always been in the youth department. Being involved in the youth department as a young He's a young, talented man, Pastor. All right, all right. <laughs> so you see, he's young and talented. Yeah. All right. <laughs> because people have known me for different things. Mm -hmm. if, if it's on Campery, mm -hmm. they know me for being on the stage with Pastor Hillary. Okay. Making all kind of jokes and things. Me and Pastor Hillary are always at it. Okay. If I'm not on the stage, sometimes I'm playing instruments, musical instruments. Okay. Before I was playing instruments publicly, I was preaching. I was a child preacher. Mm -hmm. So... Adventurers, Pathfinders, Master Guys, I've been in every club. Mm. And over the paces, I've met a lot of friends. I've made a lot of friends around the Grenada Conference. And I've made a lot of female friends around the Grenada Conference. Mm -hmm. And so that's the Grenada Conference, and I made a lot of friends in school. Mm -hmm. So there was this general consensus that Nathan have a lot of girls. Okay, okay. But well, that's an interesting point. Let, 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 let's, let's take it. Let, let's hear it. Let's right? Hear it. And so, you know, as a, young, as a young man, you know, it's something that seems fun mm -hmm. for people to say, see, what well, man's a girl, this boy. Okay, okay. You know, but then after a while, it mm -hmm. kind of gets to you because mm -hmm. then people don't take you seriously. Okay. Because they say, nah, man, why are you just playing? You don't have no serious goals or relationship or anything. And it hurts because oh. really and truly... If you do want to have something serious, because there's that already um, perception of you out there, and it's very hard for people to take you seriously in that direction. Mm -hmm. So that was something I thought about it a lot, and for a long, for the longest while, I never wanted to think about marriage or anything, you know, just because. Or right, marriage. Or anything all like right, that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> negative. So because of that negative aspect. Okay, okay. You know, but come to think of it, you know, mm -hmm. I have come to to conclude mm -hmm. that people will have their perceptions mm -hmm. and it is up to me to continue mm -hmm. serving the way that I serve and not have that hinder me because that hindrance can affect the way I serve in the youth department. I might not want to be active anymore mm -hmm. because people would see me in a light. Mm -hmm. But that only has to do with the perceptions. It doesn't have to do with my service to God. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes you just have to block out the, the negative things people are saying and continue along our path and the right people would see the right things you are doing and acknowledge that okay all right so we've seen a few persons ricardo shared the stream 
Marilyn, Charles join, Anderson, Felix join, Jason, John join. So he's saying welcome to you. Thank you for viewing. And we're talking about Define the Art. We're talking about success. We're speaking about rising above failure, going against what persons are saying, not even focusing on what the negative things are towards us and just succeeding despite of. Now, do you know that even in church, we can have the negatives and it hurts when you get it in church because you expect it from your enemy. But the worst place to get it is from somebody who claims to be your friend. Mm -hmm. And so you're there and you, you sing your heart to Jesus. And after you hear, it might not be the same day, but after you hear all those negative comments, and so up front, everybody smiled, and to you it was all good. But then later on, you hear this person said that about your song, and the other person said this about the way you did it, and so on. It makes you feel bad. So even in church, we can get an experience. Yeah, that, that actually happened to me. I was playing, I was accompanying this lady with a song. She mm -hmm. didn't have a track, so I was playing an accompaniment, an accompaniment with her. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the song, when people were saying, hey, Amen, this guy stood up and he was like, The music was too loud. <laughs> Just right there, right then, and then in the middle of service. Right. And it kind of set me back. And I had to ask the Lord to kind of constrain me there because I'm, I'm on the platform all right so now everybody's looking for my reaction mm -hmm. and at that point my reaction can either uh, save a soul mm -hmm. or, or, or make a soul have a different perception of Christ <laughs> yeah. so I just kind of had to to hold it within me and move off and just kind of ask the Lord to calm me down and then I think some of the elders spoke to him okay but that was just something that I had to deal with right there in church in the middle of service all right. so of course, Floyd Best or Nicole, she's saying, Nicole here, she's saying, Oh, Pastor, I know that pain. And I know that so many of you know that pain, but you're not saying anything. Yeah, Listen, yeah, yeah. <laughs> share with us because your experience can help somebody else as they go through this experience. And there might be somebody going through that experience right now. So many negatives in their life that they just feel like giving up. Everything seems to be lost. And who knows? They're probably even thinking about ending it. Your experience can help them tonight. What is your experience? How did you overcome? Let's hear it. Chat. Let's see. All right. It says Jehovah has a final say. Exactly. And first of all, what, what I learned from my experience mm -hmm. is that um, negative negativity is really there to strengthen you. You know. Mm -hmm. And to make your experience a better experience. All right. Because if you really don't have a, a negative experience, mm -hmm. how would you share? Okay. To help somebody to overcome that same negative experience. Mm -hmm. So it's always there as a result to strengthen the person mm -hmm. as they continue to grow within a Christian world. Okay. 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 All right. So fly best again says I had that experience as a youth, but I purpose in my heart that it will not deter me and so it seems as though it has a lot to do with the mind too you know mm -hmm. of course trusting in god of course prayer allowing him to lead you but that mind mm -hmm. because nothing can get in here except you allow it to get there yeah. because it's yours it's your mind persons can try to force it in but it's only you to allow it to enter in there and so the mind is powerful it's powerful. And that's where I get my mind from, Pastor. Okay, that's Floyd right. Best. That's my dad. <laughs> oh, Floyd Best. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, my mom are watching tonight. Okay, oh, okay. okay, very nice. Yeah. Some support. And you know you said something that we should at least mention. The sacrifice that your parents made so that just in case you reach that point in your life where you need to go the other route in terms of from public to private or in terms of your educational achievements. Mm -hmm the resources would be there. Yeah. And that is something that we as parents, I say, I'm a parent, <laughs> that we All have right. to consider when it comes to our children, making a sacrifice. What we do, we live only for ourselves really. And we, we give the children just enough to survive. <laughs> 
But if we actually begin by making a sacrifice, I know some persons want, they would say, I am not working hard for you to just come and waste my money. Persons say that. Yeah. But I believe it's important as parents to make the sacrifice because do you know the reality is the children never ask to come into the world? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You brought them here. And so now the responsibility is really upon the parents to take care of the children. Yeah. Circumstances sometimes can be challenging. Definitely. So parents must be willing to at least make a sacrifice. And if we start making it now and we teach the other the children and the other children come, the grandchildren, the great grand, then eventually we'll reach a point where we would not have to be going from how do they say? From paycheck to paycheck we can be satisfied that we have enough resources to take care of ourselves. But we're dealing with defining the odds tonight, but that actually helps to define the odds too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being able to go against tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Tradition yeah. says, live for yourself, give them a little thing just to survive. But we can say, let's make the sacrifice so that when they come, they would not have to go through the same experience that I went through. And parents... But they say, well, my parents used to beat me, so I wouldn't beat you. But what about making a sacrifice, mm -hmm. resources, yeah. so that they wouldn't have to go through the same thing that you went through? I know parents like to say, I used to carry water on my head. We didn't have <laughs> pipe and carry wood from the bush and you know, all those fancy stories that's so intriguing. But yes, we enjoyed it. We appreciate it. That was that time. And now it's a new experience, a new beginning, and we can actually make the difference, define yeah, yeah, the yeah, odds. But perhaps we can define the odds from, from that as well, mm -hmm. because in their time, defining the odds took a different set of strength. Mm -hmm. You know, they had to wake up early, four o'clock in the morning, and go and tie out goats, and mm -hmm. draw a water bucket to bed, mm -hmm. and still get to school on time, mm -hmm. and if you're the oldest sibling, you have to take care of the younger ones, and make sure they walk on the side of the road. And all these different things, and I was defying the odds back then mm -hmm. because you wanted to get out of that situation. And in this generation, as young people, we have a different set of odds to defy. We have to Definitely. defy the urge of social media, mm -hmm. whereas mm -hmm. all these things are so openly available to us, mm -hmm. we can easily get distracted. Mm -hmm. So we have a different and society's expectation of us in terms of what is success. Mm -hmm. I can turn on my phone now and log into Facebook. Mm -hmm and look for something successful and I would see somebody flashing some bills of money and mm -hmm. driving around in a sports car. But is this really success? So let me ask you, mm -hmm. what is success? What is our perception of success? Now that you're, you're speaking about it. Well, my perception of success uh, varies at my stage in life. Mm -hmm. You know, so in primary school, success to me was common entrance. Mm -hmm. In secondary school, success to me was CXC. Mm -hmm. Time CC success was my associate's degree. Mm -hmm. And now, after that, success would have been to find a job. Mm -hmm. and if I find a job, I can start making money, look for my house, look for a vehicle, mm -hmm. you know? Try and build my resources together. And uh, luckily for me, well, blessed mm -hmm. that I be, I got a scholarship to okay. continue studying. All right. So I went to Cuba. Mm -hmm. So now success for me has taken a different path. Mm -hmm. My first year in Cuba has terminated. Success for that year for me was learning Spanish. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's still a struggle. Mm -hmm. So I'm still sucking the seed. Give us a little Spanish. <laughs> no, give us more. Just give us a little. Yeah. Pastor, like I said, I'm still sucking the seed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, buenas noches. Okay, okay. Todos. All right. We'll take that. We'll take that. All right. Bienvenido. Bienvenido. <laughs> youth life. Welcome right. to youth life. Okay. Yeah. But um, so now success after mm -hmm. the first year that is done mm -hmm. is to continue learning Spanish and working on my bachelor's in telecommunication. Okay. That is my new level of success. Mm -hmm. Of success. Mm -hmm. And I like to think ahead. So I'll finish at 2024. Mm -hmm. I'd be the age 24 going on to 25. Mm -hmm. And then I would have a five-year contract with the government. So success for me would be terminating that contract with enough resources that at the end of that contract, I can buy my own house. Okay, okay. Um, all right. Enough to get a loan to buy a house, whichever all right, one all right, all right. comes along. So like I said, success varies from time to time. Mm -hmm. But my general success goal is to get to heaven and pass. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, ultimately. That's, that's, ultimately. That's, ultimately. That's, all right. So Shari Greenwood joined and Gambir Malcolm joined. And he also said yes. Sabbath blessing. So, Gamiru, we're talking about defining the odds. We want to know what was 
the pain that you experience on your road to success. We know that you're not all there yet, but you're getting there. So yeah. what were the negatives that you had to face while succeeding? Now, Alanda, yes. in terms of society, Bess was mentioning it, mm -hmm. but I stopped him somewhat and I asked him about success for him. In terms of society, what would you say? As a young lady, what would you say success is, society-wise? Not talking about the ideal, but society-wise. What, what does Hollywood say, success? Hollywood? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, in the eyes of Hollywood, success is to achieve the fame okay. and the glory and all those earthly things. Mm. But my perception mm. of success prior to thinking about it today, I had his view. Okay. Moving on, mm -hmm. going forward. Mm -hmm. But then I decided, success comes with maturity mm -hmm. in developing the ability to make the right decision in life. Mm -hmm. Because obviously if you don't make the right decision, you're gonna make a, a bad decision, which is equal to failure. Mm -hmm. And in making the right decision, God must be present. Okay. So, God is success. Okay. Choosing the way of God is success. Mm -hmm. Choosing what he expects of you in life mm -hmm. equals to success. Okay. And I want to share an experience. Mm -hmm. We have been speaking a while now, and as, as fast as we are speaking, I might mm -hmm. appear to be quiet, but mm -hmm. thoughts are just running through my head. All right, all right. Right? Mm -hmm. So... My road to success, I am still on the road to success mm -hmm. though, but if I fast forward to at the end of college, mm -hmm. me achieving my associate degree mm -hmm. of natural science, um, I was wondering what's next for me. Mm -hmm. I need to find a job mm -hmm. because I didn't have the necessary finance to further in a bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. So. God was with me. Mm -hmm. It didn't take me long for me to get a job. Perhaps just about three months of waiting. Mm -hmm. I, um, I began my teaching career at the secondary level and then I transferred to the primary level mm -hmm. the year after. Um, I continued there for a couple of years, six or more, at the primary level. And then my principal saw it fit that, you know, I develop myself professionally mm -hmm. as a teacher and become qualified. So he urged me, he ever urged me to apply for teacher's college, mm -hmm. teacher's college. I considered it, but I just found it hard to just leave the children, you know. I don't know, sometimes you get stuck in life. Mm -hmm. But then I, I had another view in my head mm -hmm. because I wanted to achieve a bachelor's degree mm -hmm. in biology. Okay. So here I have two options, whether to go to SGU, of which I was accepted mm -hmm. to do a, bio, a biology degree, mm -hmm. or whether to go to teacher's college. Okay. The coincidence was that two of them came at the same time. Okay. So I received a scholarship to SGU, a full one, mm -hmm. and then teacher's college called me. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I don't know what decision to make. Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, I have to choose one. So I was in the valley of the shit. I had to make a hard, fast decision because if I go to SGU, I need money to mm -hmm. support. Mm -hmm. And if I have to go, I have to resign from teaching. All right. mm -hmm. And I don't want to lose my job. Mm -hmm. And this is an opportunity for me to become qualified, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I'm there. I have to make a hard, fast decision. And persons ask, well, how are you going to do it? Mm -hmm. I said, I don't know. Just have to wait and see. Well, guess what? I tried both. Mm -hmm. First semester, everyone was wondering, well, well how are is going to um, love with all that? And plus, if we have duties in the church, it's an additional task. Mm -hmm. um, I went. Mm -hmm. I just showed up to class, mm -hmm. I listened, I particularly learned, mm -hmm. I think, and then 
I just prayed to God. God was with me. Mm -hmm. So the first semester, I can say that I did well mm -hmm. because I managed to um, go on the dean's list for teacher's college. Thank you. And it was just about six of us who made it out of 27, I think. Okay. And um, my GPA for SU was 4.0. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, God, if they say I couldn't do it, how come I did? Uh, but just in case persons do not understand what 4.0 means, <laughs> it's not speed, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. It, it took a lot. Mm -hmm. 4.0 is excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes. When it comes to academic achievement. So 4.0 mm -hmm. is the highest you could get. Mm -hmm. You can't get more than 4.0. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. you right. can in Cuba. <laughs> in Cuba? In Cuba, oh, yes, got to you to Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So 5.0. 5.0. So 5.0 would be... But in Grenada, here yeah, it's 4.0. 4.0. Mm -hmm. So, persons person's congratulated me. And I'm like, okay, well, this is one lesson in which I learned, like, Never let person's perception of your ability deter you from, you know, making the decision that you want to make mm -hmm. in life. And then I continued first, second semester. Well, I'm approaching my third now. The thing is, at some point, as, you, as we were speaking before, you said the negatives will get to you. You know, and persons start to mm -hmm. just act indifferent towards you mm -hmm. you know when persons see you exceeding mm -hmm. and they wondering how when they themselves you know are trying so hard and you you know it's when you are blessed that sets you apart from everything else okay. and God is with you but at the same time one must not be boastful mm -hmm. or one must not be you know so selfish that he or she is willing to um, put down others to rise. Okay. So on my journey, um, I sacrifice time to help others. A person see it as, you know, why are you so selfless, you know? And the thing is, I don't see it as me trying to be the best. Mm. I just see it as me, um, God placing me in a certain environments so that others can also receive the help that of which I can give, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm still striving, mm -hmm. I'm still praying that God will work out things for me, mm -hmm. a lot of decisions to make, you know, but God has kept me. Right. I like how young people, young, aspiring, desirous of achieving despite the odds, the negatives, despite what persons are saying, want to say, trying to say, and some persons are trying to say something negative, but they can't say. <laughs> And the beauty is when persons say negative things and you ignore them, their comment remains with them. Mm -hmm. It's not yours, it's exactly. theirs because you have never accepted it. True. So that gift you did not accept, so it remains with them. And oh, I hope it doesn't spoil them. <laughs> Luan Peters says, keeping our eyes on the price. Yeah. Christ's mission here on earth wasn't an easy one, but he, did, he didn't give up. Why yeah. did he give up? No. Oh, no, no, no. He says, keep telling yourself that you have come this far not to give up now. And he says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Or shall you lift up your eyes to the hills? The truth is, you should. Because from there comes your help to defy the odds. Defy the odds. All right, Pastor Isido is in the house. He says, in my humble opinion, true success is walking in the, in the will of God for your life. Becoming the person that God desires you to become. Luan Bess is Floyd Bess. Oh, Luan Peters, Floyd Bess. All right. So he's, you know, he's here again. He says, so I believe the question that will determine whether someone is successful is, am I fulfilling God's purpose for my life? Am I becoming the woman or the man that God desires me to be? And the additional question to that is, then what is God's God's desire for my life? <laughs> so we well, gotta know that too. Well, I think God's desire is ultimately for us to be saved and to be successful and to be successful mm -hmm. in whatever we, we we try to achieve. Um, and it's very critical that we we understand the dynamics of 
true success. Mm. Because if you don't understand it and you are running after how the world defines success, you could you could get yourself into a tangle mm -hmm. and it could damage you psychologically. Mm -hmm. Because to be honest, Pastor, um, the, the majority of the universities define success as having good grades and okay. having a 4.0. Okay. And for the first three years of my university life, I was running down the 4.0. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And it was a lot of pain and stress <laughs> because you, you're trying to, to attain mm -hmm. that 4.0 and to keep it up there at all times. Mm -hmm. But then I realized really and truly um, that wasn't true success for me as an individual. Okay, okay. You know, that's why it's very important that we as a person understand for ourselves what is true success. Mm -hmm. And we don't allow people to define it for us mm -hmm. because that could really mess you up. Right. Here, here's the one Peter said, I saw the powerful working God. Sometimes I feel like shouting when I think about the struggles and how God came through for me time and time again. And I know many persons can testify of that. You just feel like shouting. You know, there are times when everything seems to be failing, not working out for you. And then all of a sudden, the success comes and you just feel like shouting. You, know? you just feel like giving glory and praise and just making some noise and sometimes you're there in the house and you just start screaming and i know some persons for cxu results yeah. <laughs> they're just screaming so our neighbors will be wondering what is taking place in the house <laughs> but they don't understand the struggle that you went through mm -hmm. and now that you see success there's nothing else that you can do than just show Amen. that must be a beautiful feeling man to just show show your success Shout your praise and say thank you, God, for what you have done for me. Pastor, if I could just add to that, you touched on what is God's purpose mm -hmm. for us. And there's this book here, Call to Stand Apart from NG White. It's a mm -hmm. compilation of different books mm -hmm. that was put together specifically targeted for the young person in terms of different topics. So they have about relationship, wellness, career. And this is chapter 16 under the topic career. Mm -hmm. And a little extract says here, God's purpose for his children mm -hmm. growing up beside our hearts is wider, deeper, and higher than other restricted vision has comprehended. From the humblest lot, those whom he has seen faithful, having time passed, been called to witness for him mm -hmm. in the world's highest places. Mm -hmm. And many a lad of today, grown up as Daniel did mm -hmm. in his Judean home, Studying God's word and his works and learning the lesson of faithful service mm -hmm. will yet stand in legis legislative assemblies, in halls of justice, or in royal courts as a witness for the king mm -hmm. of kings. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that just speaks to God's purpose for us. And it really goes, the story of Daniel 8 mentions it, and that is someone who defied the odds. Mm -hmm. I mean, even in the first chapter, yeah. as you know very well from Pat Finance, Daniel 1.8. He defied the king's meat. Right. Mm -hmm. And from that initial defiance mm -hmm. of the odds, that is, he was able to land a position and continue to build from that because God had a plan for him. God had a purpose for him. So defying the odds comes back to God's purpose for us. Sometimes we don't see it because like Ellen White says here, it's far higher, deeper, and wider than our restricted vision can that's comprehend. Yeah, but we will defy the odds once we have God on our side because Definitely. he has already set in plan that purpose for mm -hmm. us. All right. So Hannah Pastor says, oh, I give, okay, I give up. Here is my story. My mother did not want me studying natural science. I failed a few times in my course, but I kept on trying. I never... Got the experience firsthand, full experience firsthand success. Mm -hmm. But I found out that all I need is, is God. God. Mm -hmm. Besides, all of it is nothing, nothing when God, God comes. comes. This was hard to do on uh, the best. All right, so she, she gave in and she gave, she gave her little story. So she yeah. said, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't all that sweet, it wasn't yeah. rosy. But when God came in the picture, it actually made the difference. Mm -hmm. So sister... Have you completed both course of study yet? So, so somebody's responding. Yeah. God be praised for your determination and God is always guiding our lives. Powerful motivation story. That's what we want tonight. Share your story 
and motivate us, encourage us, encourage young people mm -hmm. to be successful and defy the odds. Mm -hmm. Listen to this, these two scenarios. One, simple. We have Delia. Delia, a young lady coming from primary school, single parent, under under tragic circumstances mm -hmm. economically challenged single parent mm -hmm. tries her best still comes out top of the class gets a scholarship to go further but persons in the community are simply saying in a little while you'll become like your parents you would be out of a job, you'll be out of success, you will have plenty mouths to feed. Mm -hmm. So in other words, mm -hmm. they're saying she can't make it. She wouldn't make it. Yeah. And so it was just luck mm -hmm. that she came out top of the class, got a scholarship. But that wouldn't last because it's just luck. What would be your advice in such a situation? So that person got that scholarship moved on for higher learning but persons are saying give her time just look she would feel just now she'll come out like everybody else pregnant and not just one child you know two three four for different persons and failure 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 from there on what would you say what's up what 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 the kind what kind of advice would you give to such an individual and there might be somebody in your church like that you never know or in your school? Well, it could be us, Pass. Exactly. It could be us. We have two scholarship people sitting down here tonight. It could <laughs> be us. Um, I would first tell her that, you know, God in true and fact comes first. Mm -hmm. So put him first. But you also, she should also find someone, uh, physically speaking, mm -hmm. tangible. Mm -hmm. that she can go to someone she trusts mm -hmm. and that is that is a very hard commodity to find nowadays mm -hmm. trust might be more expensive than gold even mm -hmm. more rare to find nowadays because everything i tell my sister here something and she just tweets it out one time and boom trust is gone mm -hmm. because she didn't think that was something to keep to herself she thought oh. it was to be shared okay so it's very hard to find trust but we can we can find consolation and trust in people that sometimes we know for a long time or uh, it could be someone you met the other day but mm -hmm. because of that bond mm -hmm. and that connection you all had you can find trust and confidence in that person so i would suggest that you find someone she trusts mm -hmm. because the process of a scholarship itself is very difficult mm -hmm. you know every year out of all the number of hundreds of people that apply for scholarships especially mm -hmm. in my category to cuba only 12 people get selected. And they decide to choose you. And out of the 12, I was selected for 2018, that is. Mm -hmm. And most times people get through with medicine scholarships. Mm -hmm. And I did engineering. Mm -hmm. So for my year, we had three of us coming up to do engineering. Mm -hmm. Whereas this year, I was told there's only one person. Okay. One or two people getting engineering. And the rest is medicine. Okay. So it's a very niche thing mm -hmm. to get a scholarship, especially in my category so once you now have that success in that small area you thank god for it i know you have to stick close to him once you have that person you can trust on and count on then the burden is a bit lighter because you don't have to hold all the weight on your shoulders per se mm -hmm. you can offload on somebody you trust you can share that weight and once she has that she'll be able to push on through because the negative comments will continue coming mm -hmm. You know, my negative comments for Cuba was not that of people telling me I won't make it, okay. but people telling me of what to expect in Cuba. Oh, okay. Some of it is quite true, you know. Cuba is a very pork-heavy society, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of things that I'm not accustomed to because of the sheltered life we live here in Grenada. Mm -hmm. But once I had my family, like I said, I had a very strong support system at home, mm -hmm. and I had a church family. Mm -hmm. So every time I get a little piece of internet, because internet is not as liberal and free, Okay. as we have it here okay. so every time i get a little piece of internet i would always have at least one to three people from my church mm -hmm. always sending me some motivational things mm -hmm. so you have to build that network of trust and 
even though your circle is as small as two to three people alone, once you have that circle, you have hands to help you share that burden. All right. So let's take let's take this a last scenario. You have a young man. He's in church, about three years. Baptized. He is a leader in one of the departments in the church, but he has an addiction that he's struggling with, and. Uh, let us say persons in church, they probably know and they keep hitting him at it, keep bringing it up. So he's trying to make it, he's trying to succeed, but they keep bringing back the negatives, the negatives to him. He's trying to serve God, be faithful, but the addiction is tough, but he's still trying, but the negatives are there from his own. What advice would you give to him? Well, Pastor, to be honest, um, one of the things I'll always remember is the quote that says that God don't really look at our feelings, but he always look at our strivings. Mm -hmm. And so I would try to point that young person um, to God mm -hmm. and always allow and try to motivate the person to don't look at the many times he may fall, but look at what God can give him, what God can do with him and the power that is available through Christ. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says all things are possible with Christ. Mm -hmm. And with Christ, everything is possible. So I would try to let the person know that regardless of his mistakes, regardless of his weaknesses, mm -hmm. there is a God who went through everything that he's going through now, and he's there by him side, by him side to give him the strength mm -hmm. to, to be an overcomer mm -hmm. and to let him know that he can be successful. Because in the past, there are persons who went through the various struggles and was successful in overcoming whatever weaknesses they had. All right. So we thank you so much for joining us. We thank you for viewing. We thank you for sharing. We thank you for linking other persons to the page. Tonight we discussed Defying the Odds. We got some beautiful experiences from our very own success stories, persons on our Youth Live Unplug Facebook page. They also shared their comments, persons read, they also commented on comments, and that's beautiful. And we began by asking the question, can anything good come from Nazareth? And we answer by saying, come and see. So in other words, we are saying as young persons, bring it on. So the challenges might be great, but we're saying we are going to succeed, bring it on. The mountains might be high, but we're still saying, bring it on, we shall Come over it. The storms might also be appear to be insurmountable. But we still say, bring it on. Because we can ride through the storm. We can pass through it all with Jesus by our side. And so thank you very much for viewing. At this time, we will take our prayer request. So if you have any prayer requests, then now is the time to share your prayer request. So Sally... Hamlet Charles is saying, pray, pray, pray. So yes, it's time to pray, pray, pray. <laughs> and so we're going to pray for you. If there is anything, you can share it. And of course, we are going to lift it to Jesus for you. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to ask Ella Maxine Noel to pray for us. Whatever your request is, send it in. And God is going to do for you what you did not even believe is possible. Our heads are bowed and our eyes are closed. Heavenly Father, this evening I want to thank you so much for being with us. We thank you for the wisdom and the understanding that you have given unto us to discuss this wonderful and amazing topic, overcoming the odds. We know that anything is possible with you because you are God that overcome everything that was thrown at you when you came to this earth and you were successful, you overcome the devil, and you were victorious, which makes us victor, victors as well if we just trust in you and depend upon you. Tonight we lift up each and every person who uh, participate in looking at this program. We pray in a very special way that you will help them, whatever struggle they may be facing, whatever illness they may be going through, Lord, we pray that they will overcome and they will learn to trust in you and depend upon you. In a very special way, we lift up to you, the young people of uh, this island. We pray, oh God, that you give them the, the faith and the, the courage, the self-discipline. And we pray, oh Lord, that you help them to know 
that you are always by their side. They just need to tap into the source. In a very special way, Lord, continue to be with this youth department and continue to help them, O oh Lord, to do the work that you have called them to do. And so, Lord, we just thank you so much for being with us. We pray in a very special way that we always look to you, the art and the finisher of our faith. And when you do come, we pray that you will save us in your eternal kingdom. This is our honest prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, and don't forget on the 25th of August, which is next Sunday, please God, we'll be heading down from 4 o'clock to 7 p.m., heading down to the Look Cinema Grenville. All roads lead to the Look Cinema Grenville. 4 p.m., the Adventurers will be putting on lovely presentations. We're asking you to support Bring out your friends, bring out your loved ones, and let us have a lovely time in Jesus' name. So God bless you. Thank you to our dear panelists for sharing, for the lovely singing. We appreciated them very much, and we hope that we'll meet them very soon again. So God bless, and see you next week. Please, God, it's going to be a bumper time with Jesus. So always join us at this time so that we can have a lovely time with Jesus Christ. See you next time. Thank you.
you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do. Lord, I come before you with contrite heart. Humbly 